Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up the OpenCV library in Visual Studio 2022 to create C++ applications. So first, let's download this library. So let's type OpenCV. Then let's go to this first link. In this page, we have to click on Library, then Releases. Now here we can download this latest version and I will download the version for Windows. Now I need to save this file, but in my case I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download. So this is the file that I have downloaded, I have just to run it. So this file is an archive and we need to extract it, so we need to provide the location where to extract it. So I want to extract it into the folder called Documents, into a folder called Libraries. Let's click on OK, and then we need to extract it. But in my case, I have already extracted it, so I will cancel this operation. Now let's go to the folder that contains OpenCV. It is on Documents, then Libraries, and this is the obtained folder. Now we need to add the bin folder of OpenCV to the system environment variables because it contains some DLL files that should be available for the application. So let's go to build, then x64, then vc15, and then bin. Now let's copy this path. Then let's go to system then advanced system settings and here let's click on environment variables then here we have to find the path variable so this is the path variable and we need to edit it so at the beginning of this field i will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority also i will add a semicolon as the separator between the different values now let's click on ok then ok ok again and let's close this window. Now let's go to Visual Studio. And let's create a new project. So here I will select empty C++ project. Then let's click on next. For the name I will call it OpenCV project 1. Then let's click on create. Now the project has been created but it is empty. So let's create a new C++ file. Here let's select C++ file and let's call it main.cpp. Then I will paste a source code that I have already prepared and you can find it in the description of this video. So in this application we will open this image and we will create a window. Then we will paint the image in this window and we will put this window at this location. And when the user presses any key, we will terminate the application. Now I will show you how to build the release version of this application. So let's go to project, then properties. And here for the configuration, let's select release. And for the platform, let's select x64. Now let's expand CC++, then let's select general. And let's add the include folder of OpenCV. So in the additional include directories, we need to provide the include folder. Let's go to documents, then libraries, then OpenCV, then build. And let's select this include folder. Let's click on select folder. Then let's click on OK. Now let's go to linker then general, then additional library directories, then let's go to documents, then libraries, then OpenCV, then build, then x64, then vc15. Now let's select this lib folder and let's click on select folder, then OK, then let's go to input. And here we need to add the lib files of OpenCV. 
Now let's go to the folder that contains the lib files. So let's go to build, then x64, then vc15, then lib. So to build the release version of the application, we need to add this lib file. But to create the debug version of the application, then we need to add this second lib file. Because I want to show you how to create the release version, I will use this lib file. So let's copy its name. And let's paste it here. Let's click on OK, then OK. Now let's modify the version of the application. And here let's select release. Then let's save this file. And let's build the application. So here we can see that the application has been built successfully. Now let's run the application. But here we obtain this error. So we need just to restart Visual Studio. So let's open the previous project. And let's run the application again. And we obtain this window. I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.